House and the Senate are expected to vote today. It's possible anyway on this debt deal. Many see House Republicans as the hardest group to win over. One of them is with us now, Representative Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. Congresswoman, welcome to Inside Track. You know that you have said you are undecided, but I'm just curious how many Republican votes does John Boehner need to keep the speakership? Well, I, I don't think John Boehner's speakership is in question. He has done a masterful job of continuing to move this debate toward our conservative principles and free market principles, and he is to be congratulated on that. I'm very proud of the work that he has done, and there are lots of provisions. And I will say this, this agreement, uh, which will work us toward a long-term solution, dealing with the debt and the out-of-control spending, which is the root cause of this issue, uh, this is based on those conservative principles. Co Congresswoman, how are you going to vote? We're waiting to get the CBO score, and we're also waiting to get the legislative language. And I'm one of those members that I wait until I see those things to make a final determination, and I will follow that process today. This is an incredibly important and very serious issue. And my constituents are like most of the American people. They've said, tell us the truth about this situation. We don't want any more budget tricks. We don't want any more accounting gimmicks. We want a long-term solution to this. And that's the way we've approached it. Speaking of tricks and gimmicks, let's talk about the U.S. tax code. Uh, no one would have suggested raising marginal rates, but wouldn't we have had a great opportunity to simplify and uh, fix make fairer the U.S. tax code here and raise revenues? I mean, we're currently looking at uh, revenues as a percentage of GDP of the lowest level since 1950. Well, and I think that what you have seen, when you get to the tax portion of that, we all agree there is a need for a flatter, fairer, simpler tax code, and that is going to require tax reform. We know that uh, there has been some discussion in that regard, and quite frankly, I think Chairman Camp, uh, Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, and his leadership team will bring those provisions forward. You're not going to see those in step one of this agreement, which is the immediate spending reductions. But when you get to the committee, the Joint Select Committee, I think that you're going to see um, more of a consideration of that and then separately as the Ways and Means Committee does its work for the year, you're going to see okay. a push to make certain that we address those corporate tax and individual tax rate issues. Congresswoman, we thank you so much. Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Thank you of Tennessee.